Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardanandri. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can solve triple identity integrals. And for this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.5, question number 11. Before start solving this question, we should know some terminologies and basic things about triple integrals. In triple integral, we have three variables with respect to which we have to perform our integration. The most inner variable, which is written most inside, is called inner variable. In this question, x is our inner variable whose limits are minus root to 3. Next variable, y, is called central variable whose limits are 0 to 1. The most outer variable, z, is here, which is called outer variable whose limits are 0 to pi, 0 to pi by 6. So in triple integrals, we will always perform integration with respect to x first means we will perform integration with respect to most inner variable, then with respect to outer variable, and then with respect to most outer variable. Means we will move from inner towards outer. So in this question, first of all, we will start our the process of integration with respect to x, then on the outcomes of integration of, with, of x, we will apply integration with respect to y, and then on the outcomes of integration with respect to y, we will apply integration with respect to z. This color combination is for your convenience so that you can easily see that the integration, that the limits of x are minus two to three, limits of y are zero to one, and limits of z are zero to pi by six. So, in the next step, we will start performing our integration. Please note that in multivariable calculus, when you are performing integration or derivation with respect to one variable, other variables will behave like constants. So with respect to x, y, and sine of z is constants. You can take it outside of the most inner integral. So we are left with limit from 0 to pi by 6, limit from 0 to 1, y, sine of z, limit from minus 2 to 3, dx. So the integration of dx can be done with the help of this formula. Here, the value of k is 1. So the integration of 1 dx is only x for the limits minus 2 to 3. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. So we have replaced x with 3 for the upper limits minus is of, of formula. And we have replaced x with minus 2 for the lower limit. Now 3 minus minus 2 is 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. You can take this 5 outside of the integrals like this. Now after completing the process of integration with respect to x, our most inner variable, we will apply the process of integration with respect to y. Now y is our most inner variable. So that with respect to y, sine of z is constant. You can take it outside of the inner integral. So you can integrate y for the limit 0 to 1. Integration of y is y square over 2 for the limit 0 to 1. In the next step, we will apply limits, upper limit minus lower limit with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus. So we have 1 by 2 here. You can take this 1 by 2 constant. So we have integral is equal to 5 by 2 limit from 0 to pi by 6 sine of z dz. Up till here, we have completed the process with respect to central variable y. And the next step, we will perform integration with respect to z. Now, the integration of sine of x, you must remember this formula, integration of sine of x is minus cos of x. So in the next step, we will integrate it for the limit 0 to pi by 6. After this, we will apply the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. The value of cos of pi by 6 is square root of 3 by 2, minus minus become plus, and cos of 0 is 1. So after simplification, we have our result. Integral is equal to pi by 4 into 2 minus square root of 3. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your friends. Allah Hafiz.